we're going to use this height map to create this. So I'm just going to delete everything, shift a mesh plane, and uh, let's just scale it up by 10 just for funsies. Now there's multiple ways to do this. However, I do like it my way. So over into modifiers, add modifier, we're gonna go into deform and go displace. From here, we're gonna click a new texture and click on this thing on the end, whatever that is. And then I'm gonna open my image, select my height map. Now I export it as an EXR. And if you wanna download these maps, there is a link to the Patreon, go check that out. Let's go open image. From here, click back on the modifiers. Obviously we can see that nothing has changed, that's fine. What I am going to do is go add modifier, generate subdivision surface. Let's bring that up the top there. I'm going to click simple and then levels of viewport 12. Now we're going to change the displace from coordinates of local to UV. And now the strength, I might bump it up to 10 because we scaled it by 10 and uh, that's not too bad. Let's throw on a material. And from here, I'm going to select that control shift T because I've got node wrangler enabled. Roughness, normal, and color map. And the color map didn't come in because it's called color map. So let's go shift D, open, color map. Yes, please. Let's put our vector into there so it's all the same. Color into color. And uh, there we have it. Now we've still got a little bit more to do, but you have to remember if you want like full quality up close, you're going to have to pay for it in terms of resourcing. So, I mean, this is, I think, maybe a 4K texture. But this is a two kilometer by two kilometer landscape. So I think a pixel is, is half a meter. So just be prepared for that. However, to optimize this mesh, what I'm actually going to do back into the modifiers, I'm going to select that mesh. I'm going to press search with spacebar or F3, or if you're on your laptop, FN F3, let's type in convert to mesh and press enter. And that's now applied our modifiers. From here, if I were to go into wireframe mode, you can see how stinking dense it is. So I'm gonna get add modifier, generate, decimate, and we can see that we've got, what do we got? 4.1 million faces. I'm actually gonna go 0.1, and now we're down to 800,000 faces. Probably go a little bit more, 0.05. And you can see how much less dense it is. Let's just do control A. Still half a million faces. And there we have it. We've got a mesh. Now, if you are getting some like weird artifacts because of the decimate modifier, what we can actually do is go seven, numpad seven into top mode, numpad five into orthographic mode. I go tab into edit mode and we select everything. We go U, project from view to bounds. And what that'll do, it'll just fix up the UV map. And there we go. Yeah, subscribe, do it. Also, if one of the companies that uh, does world creation wants to reach out, hey, hi.